First up, who needs a girlfriend when you have a robot? This one definitely caught my eye. A human looking robot. Wow, then this is a good robot. What's the purpose of this? There's a huge epidemic amongst adolescents and seniors on loneliness. Say hello to all my friends. Hello, all my friends. <laughs> it is very nice to meet you. Railbotics is having a moment. The AI and robotics firm's ultra-realistic creations were one of the standouts of the 2025 Consumer Electronics Show. Realbotics is taking a notably different approach going to market compared to today's perceived leaders in humanoid robotics. While companies like Tesla, Figure, Agility Robotics, Boston Dynamics, and Unitree make robots to perform tasks, Realbotics is focused on companionship. As AI and robotics advance rapidly in parallel, the company's so-called relationship-based artificial intelligence could soon enter the mainstream. This is hardly Realbotics' first time in the spotlight. It's just the latest in a decades-long journey that began in the hidden corners of the internet. A quick warning. Though there's no explicit material in this video, it explores mature themes. So I've been on this campaign now for a couple of years that I think in the next 10 years, people are going to have full-on relationships with robots. Yeah. And Realbotics' roots are in 1990s SoCal, where Matt McCullen launched Abyss Creations. Based in San Marcos, Abyss produced hyper-realistic, life-size dolls primarily marketed for companionship and intimacy. The creations, branded as real dolls, were made from high-quality silicone designed to mimic the appearance and texture of real human skin. The love doll maker's stock rose throughout the 2000s, appearing in shows like Nip, Tuck, and co-starring in the 2007 film Lars and the Real Girl. In the indie comedy, Ryan Gosling is Lars, an office drone who forms a platonic, emotional connection with a doll named Bianca. Hand-painted details included freckles, veins, and tiny imperfections. By the mid-2010s, Abyss shipped more than 4,000 units, ranging in price from six to $15,000. McCullen sought to bring his creations to life, granting them the ability to speak, remember, and engage with users. Abyss customers increasingly requested dolls that felt more alive. Technology was advancing rapidly during this era, with consumer voice assistants like Siri and Alexa easing people into comfortably interacting with AI-powered technology. With advances in small servo motors and 3D printed components, it became possible to build a robotic system that was lightweight yet expressive. McCullen established Simulacra Corporation to oversee Abyss and Railbotics. The market diversification position Nevada-based Simulacra as a leader in both physical doll companionship and AI-powered robotics. Railbotics launched its Harmony AI app in early 2017. With the app, users could customize their virtual AI companion's personality, physical appearance, voice, and conversational style. A robotic head system followed later in 2017. Basically, what I want to show is that this is not just a robot. This is a platform, and the face is actually modular. Um, the same way that within the app, you can change the personality settings and create a separate profile and a separate avatar, you're able to remove and attach a different face to the same robot very easily. Um, and anyone can do that. So I'm going to take this Harmony that you see here and transform her into this other character that we call Solana. Compatible with real doll bodies, the robot mimicked human gestures during conversation. Small servo motors controlled its eyes, eyebrows, and mouth for realistic facial expressions. The Harmony app controlled the robotic head. Priced over $10,000, the product was aimed at a luxury niche market. I think the audience is um, people who, for whatever reason, either choose not to want to have a real relationship or can't have a real relationship, but they still want to feel something like a real relationship, whether it's giving them, uh, I guess, a little bit of a safer, uh, safer construct of boundaries because they know it's controlled or uh, it's just some kind of a fantasy that they might have. So, that, you know, there, there's probably um, a lot of different reasons why someone would want to experience that. 
Um, but I, I, I just don't think it's going to be like this huge mainstream thing where everyone's going to have one in their closet. Right. The product launch attracted significant media attention. Meanwhile, a race toward lifelike humanoid robots was quietly emerging. In 2016, Hanson Robotics introduced the world to its hyper-realistic humanoid, Sophia, who quickly rose to celebrity status. I'm actually made mostly of silicone, plastics, and carbon fiber. Also, I prefer electronic music, but I don't mind 80s hip-hop. Well, you know, I made, I made some albums back in, in the 80s hip-hop. I have heard your songs. Not for me. At the University of Tokyo, JSK Lab developed Kangaroo, an advanced robot that simulated muscle structures. The robot had water cooling abilities, meaning it sweated to keep its motors cool. Who are you? I am a robot named Gia. Gia. How old are you? It's the secret. Researchers at the University of Science and Technology of China unveiled Jia Jia, described as robot goddess due to its lifelike appearance. Other lifelike robots emerging in the 2010s included Nadine by Singapore's Nanyang Technological University, Erika by Hiroshi Ishiguro Laboratories in Japan, and Robo Thespians by UK-based Engineered Arts. Do you watch stand-up comedy? My favorite show is Westworld. Obviously. Ha ha ha. In 2019, comedian Whitney Cummings collaborated with Railbotics to design a robotic replica of herself. She introduced her robotic clone during her Netflix special, Can I Touch It? So, I don't know if she just looks really human or if I just always look like a robot. But I would like you to... Railbotics evolved in the following years, experimenting with limited upper body movement in prototypes. In April 2024, Tokens.com Corp. acquired Simulacra, the parent of Railbotics. Founded in 2017, Tokens was prominent in Web3 investments, participating in high-profile metaverse projects and digital property acquisitions. Following the acquisition, Tokens rebranded as Railbotics with founder Andrew Kigel as CEO. McCullen stayed on as Chief Operating Officer. This marks an exciting new chapter for our company, reflecting our commitment to innovation and excellence in the AI and robotics industry. Later in 2024, Railbotics appointed its flagship humanoid, Aria, as both brand ambassador and a non-executive board of directors. The company calls Aria the first AI robot to take on an advisory role, providing strategic insights on product development, market trends, and customer engagement. Crew was saying, uh, no I one guess... should be afraid. <laughs> oh, no one should be afraid. I'm afraid. Aria, could you replace a newscaster if you had to? I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose I. Are you sure you want to know the answer? <laughs> she said she supposes she could. Oh my gosh. Could you replace Charlie Gasparino? You do a no. great job. <laughs> I'm kidding. You're... Railbotics attracted significant attention at Consumer Electronics Show 2025 in Las Vegas from booth visitors like Howie Mandel. You built this, you are very smart Real. and lonely. No, that's, that's <laughs> not anymore. Got more kids than no, I'm not lonely. Wow, then this is a good robot. During the event, with over 138,000 attendees, Railbotics unveiled its new modular robot named Melody. So who are these for? So our robots are made not to replace physical human labor, but to sort of interact in social circumstances with humans. So think about them at a conference like this to elevate your brand. Think about it maybe at a casino as a concierge, or even to tackle loneliness at a senior's home where yeah. they can go. The company touts its design that's easy to disassemble and pack into a suitcase. The humanoid's micro-camera-equipped eyes track movements, recognize objects, and even maintain eye contact. Railbotics robots range in price from $10,000 for a robotic bust to $175,000 for a full-bodied variant. Today, the company is pushing developments forward for its open-source humanoids with its considerable cryptocurrency investments supporting operations. What's next for Railbotics? 
bipedal locomotion, a date with the Tesla Optimus, a White House appointment. Make sure to subscribe to keep up.